Hey, what's up, guys? So, yes, I am here with the Agents, Agent Carter, Season 2 finale, ho well, Hollywood ending, um, s review. So, yes, this episode, I thought, was a pretty good episode. It's, um, I think the finales for, you know, both Agent Carter's series are both, you know, for the first season and the second season, I feel like they're some of the strongest episodes that they have. <coughs> you know, I feel like they really convey a lot of everything, even though, you know, they wrap everything up very quickly. I really like that wrap up. And so, to talk about this episode, which is spoilery, um, I don't know, uh, it'll probably be up tonight, this video, I'm hoping. So, yeah, guys, um, so starting us off, it's picking up right where the last one left off, literally, right where Peggy was about to shoot Jack. And, you know, I think that's kind of ironic. The episode begins with um, Peggy about to shoot Jack, and then the episode ends with actually Jack dying by someone shooting him. <laughs> so, yeah, ironic, ir irony? Who knows? But it is sad to see Jack die. I really was, I really do like his character. He was kind of like the Ward kind of character, I felt in my opinion. And I did like that, because I like Ward. You guys know how I like Ward. And so, you know, now he's dead and just, uh, yeah. But, um... I'll talk about the thing I was going to talk about later on, but, so, yes, um, so, this is when the whole, so now, Whitney Frost has all this zero matter in her, she has so much of it, and now everybody needs to team up and take her down, and this includes that the doctor, Dr. Wiltz, um, Howard, um, Peggy, Jarvis, and then her boyfriend, kinda, <laughs> and so, um, they all, them six need to team up and take down, well, and Suzer and Jack, they all, the eight of them need to take down, um, I'm sorry, I like to clap, but are taking down Whitney Frost, and that was the main point of this episode, is right at the beginning was bringing them together and doing that, and, um, I thought this episode, it had a good premise, but it was simple, but it was very effective, it was, and it's a season finale, you know, you know, it's got that kind of thing, but it was definitely an interesting way that they did the episode because it wasn't all serious. There was those comedic times in there, definitely. One of the best things, when there was a commercial, I looked on Facebook for like a couple minutes, and there was already a gif of Jarvis with his hands up in the air with the mustard, and he just puts it down. That was one of the funniest parts on, it was one of the funniest parts in the show, well, in this episode. Very funny. I really did like that. Jarvis is the Jarvis is the comedy in this series. Ultimately, come on, who else would it be? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, so guys, my phone <laughs> kind of had a little malfunction there, but I got it all fixed out. So I was talking about how they were blending, and um, I was talking about how I haven't seen the new episode of Gotham yet. I will, like I said, I'll be reviewing, reviewing that with the Star Wars episode, Star Wars Rebels episode tomorrow night. So, um. Yeah, like I said, I, I think they really did blend the comedy and the, um, the seriousness in it together. Kind of like how The Flash does it. And The Flash does it very well. And I felt like that's how Daredevil and Jessica Jones also did it. With that dark... With, well, even though these aren't... They are not very dark. Like, a better example is The Flash, like I was saying. It's a Flash is a light... Is a light kind of show with some dark elements in there with that humor. Which makes it better. Because The Flash is kind of... <coughs> like Barry Allen. He is a funny... Like, he's a smartass, so, you know, they, they're, they're playing that up a little bit, and I really thought it was interesting. And so, um, uh, it was really cool to see, um, how far the special effects have come. I think the special effects are very, very interesting and very, are, are pretty good for a TV budget. They're, they're not perfect, of course, but they are pretty good. Um, I don't think they're better than Agent of the Shield's TV budget, because I think they had a, they, they had, some things were good. Some things are better on Agent of the Shield for special effects, but granted, there are more episodes. But, moving on. Um, I th like I said, the special effects were pretty good. The story I liked. Um, and then, okay, so the big climax of the episode is where we see, well, okay, so I want to talk about the breakout scene. During the breakout scene, I thought that was pretty funny. That interrogation scene that they were having, it, that was pretty funny. I really did like that. But, <clears throat> during the interrogation scene, when Peggy and Susan jumped out the window, and that little, whatever it was, the the little thing, I don't know what it was, it was some kind of string, got hooked on the window thing, on the bottom, where it clicks in on the bottom, and I was like, oh no, it's, she's gonna find out they were there, and, you know, the guy's gonna die, and then Peggy comes up and grabs it, and 
I was just like, wow, that is totally acknowledging what I'm sure everybody was thinking that was going to happen. And I thought it was like the funniest thing ever because that is a familiar trope that is in a lot of things, like a lot of movies, you know, in these spy movies and suspense and something like that where people are trying to break in and steal stuff and there's one thing, one simple thing left behind. And it's just like, wow, you know, and it's just like, really, you know, and I'm glad they acknowledge that and they're like, ha, no, we're not doing that. And so it was very funny and very, you know, I just like that. So. Moving on to the final big climax of the episode where everybody is teaming up together to take down Whitney. They have the Gamma and they have the, um, the, 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 the I, I don't remember what it was called. It was the, oh, what did Peggy call it? I think it was the, uh, it was something with an R. I remember that or something like that, but I don't know. The, and then, um, that's what the doctor's working on in the outside to, you know, you know, keep everything intact and keep everything in a stable area. And they have the gamma gun ready. <coughs> so, which, oh yeah, it was something with x-rays that Dr. Wilkes came up with to kind of, you know, keep it so that everything would be contained and that Whitney was, you know, that, um, so that Whitney's zero matter would go in there. And it was very interesting, very cool. Um, uh, too sciencey for me, but, um, moving on, I, like I said, about the climax. Um, I really did like that. And then I, I thought, Maybe a little bit more of a fight should have happened, you know, but I guess that is not what the symbols, you know, it wasn't really about that, you know, there, there was tons of fights throughout the season, you know, and there's not really much she could have, Peggy could have done to fight her, you know, because she already did, and she ended up with a spike in the stomach, so, but, um, I really, um, I would have liked to have seen maybe her try and fight her, and, you know, Peggy get, you know, getting, you know, her, you know, her life almost sucked away, and then, Boom, they get that thing clicked on. <clears throat> and then Whitney loses all of her powers. I thought that would have been pretty cool and very interesting to see. And then at the end of the episode, well, you know, the climax is that Suzer is about to get sucked in because they can't close the portal. But then Stark's hover car, Howard's hover car, has got is worked up, powered up, and they send the gamma um the gamma core in the car and it boom blows up the portal. Everybody's happy and safe. <coughs> I'm sorry guys but moving on and then it was interesting to see it pick up like kind of I'd say a couple maybe the next day or a couple days after and you know everything's fine you know they're all Howard and Wilkes and Peggy you're just sitting down having lunch well breakfast lunch <laughs> what am I thinking sitting down having breakfast and then Peggy has a little talk with Wilkes and then she leaves, you know, and Jarvis, you know, and her and, um, Jarvis's wife, I, I don't want to pronounce her name wrong, because I, I've tried it before, and I've pronounced it wrong, so I'm not going to try it, <coughs> and so, they have their moment, and then Jarvis drives her to the airport, and then, you know, that was their last big thing, because, you know, it, it may be their final goodbye, you know, because we don't know if there's going to be season three or not, and I'll talk about that a little bit later, that was the thing I was talking about earlier, but, um, and then, right at the end of the episode, well, before, you know, Jack kicks a bucket, um, um, Suzer and Peggy actually get together, and I thought that was pretty cool, because it was something I was waiting for since season one, because they hit it off so great, and, you know, I'm glad that they actually get together, and that is probably the, her husband that she was talking about that she had, you know, in, you know, that she talked about in Captain America the Winter Soldier. So, yeah. Um, so, moving on to Season 3. Is there going to be Season 3? Um, uh, I read an article with Haley Atwell. I read this right when I got home before the, you know, right around 3.30, 4 o'clock. And it was like, the season finale leaves enough of a, you know, enough it, that you, you're you not just like, oh, you know, it wasn't like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, the season finale. You know what? It tied everything night up with a bow, but still had some mystery in there for, so they could go somewhere for Season 3, which is good. Um, and so it was very inter it was it's very good. I do hope it gets a season three because I do think the show it can sustain a season three. If Agents of Shield can get a season three, you know, they should get a season three. I think that they should each you know, I think that Agents of Shield and Agent Carter should both get the same amount of seasons. And I think Agents of Shield season three should end. I'll talk about that later. Uh depending upon the season finale, I just think it should end after season three and the Agent Carter should also end at season three after 
Bobby and Hunter's Most Wanted, Marvel's Most Wanted. But, um, there may be a season three or there may not be. Um, ABC, there was articles saying that ABC was saying that Agent, well, Agent Carter was canceled. Haley Atwell said in the article, that is not true. There is a possibility that there could be a season three, and she said that in the article, but who knows? We'll have to wait until January of next year or until they renew season three. But other than that, guys, I would definitely give the season finale, Agents of Carter, Hollywood ending, season two, a five out of five weeks. Definitely, I thought it was fantastic. Um, I was really glad, you know, everything worked out. I thought they all did, everything was tied up neatly in a bow. Um, and if season three does come, we have what could happen next. And that's about it, guys. So, uh, I'm Jay Wink, and I'm waking out. I'll see you guys later.